Adjusting sound levels of Premiere is very simple. For instance, I have a sequence here that I put two clips and a music bed underneath both of them. The first clip that I have is Barbara speaking, and I've color-coded her clip to be red to match her shirt, and I have Rebecca where it's blue and it matches her shirt. Okay, so let's just listen to what we have here first so we can get an idea of what we need to do. Uh, and when I play this clip, pay attention to the volume meters over on the right-hand side and watch where they go. Anything that goes in the zero or higher is way too loud. That means it's going to peak and it's going to cut off audio and it's going to be over-modulated. Okay, so let's play this and see what we have. Okay, so I brought these clips in and I have not made any sound adjustments to them at all. And hopefully you can tell that the two interview clips are way too low and the music is way overbearing. If I come over to our target selection tracks, if I hover over A1 and I mouse wheel up, I can increase. If I mouse wheel down, I can decrease the track size. It will give us a little bit uh, more room so we can see if the sound waves in our clip. Okay, and I can do the same thing for audio two. I can mouse wheel up so we can see what we're doing over there. And I'll just make this a little bit larger over here and I'll make the audio meters a little bit larger so we can get a better idea of what we're doing. Since the interviews are bread and butter and they're telling our story, let's work on those first. The easiest way to do this is to solo this entire audio track and I can click this S here, and it's a solo track. You can tell it's on because it turns into a yellow box. And what this does is it only plays the audio from this one track. It won't play any of the music at all. So for instance, if I hit the space bar, we only hear her uh, interview clip and the same for Rebecca. They are... Okay, so let's work on Barbara's clip first. And we'll show you a couple different ways to adjust audio. I can right click on the clip and select audio gain. Up pops this audio gain window with some controls here, but, but pay attention to the bottom where it says peak amplitude. It says negative 15.7 decibels. This means that during this clip here, and only this clip, the loudest she ever gets is negative 15.7. You want your voices to be around negative 12. Uh, they can be higher and they can be a little bit lower, but those are only the extremes. But so voices around negative 12. So let's use this first option here, the set gain to. And since we're at negative 15 and basically negative 16 and we want to go to 12, let's do it. Let's raise her audio by four decibels. So I'm going to put in four and hit OK. You can see that the uh, waveforms and the audio moved up. So let's take a listen to the track, but also pay attention to the volume meters over on the right to make sure we get in that negative 12-ish range. So I'm going to go back to the front, hit space bar. It's a sport that's all about the gambling, and uh, the dogs tend to be a byproduct of the industry. Okay, so it's a lot better, but we can bump it up just a little bit more. So let's try that again. Uh, so instead of right-clicking and going to audio gain, the shortcut is G, so I'm going to just press the G key, and here we see this is what we set it up to, 4. 4 wasn't quite enough, let's try maybe 6, All right? and so the audio waveforms went up again, I'm going to play it again. It's a sport that's all about the gambling, and uh, the dogs tend to be a byproduct of the industry. Okay, that's a lot better. So let's undo the solo track, and let's see how it sounds with the music. It's all about the gambling. And so, okay, it's a lot better now, but the music is still way too loud. So, let's work on this other clip and then we'll go back to the music, right? So, I'm going to turn my solo track back on so I can left click once on her clip, hit the G key to bring up the gain, and we can see down here that her peak amplitude is negative 17.7. Um, so, we want to go to 12. So. Let's see, let's go, let's try six again. Let's see what happens. Hit, hit okay. 
I'm going to hit my up arrow to jump to the edit point and hit the spacebar. They're like big couch potatoes. They are affectionate, but not needy. Okay, so it's a lot better, but again, we can bump it up even more. So I'm going to hit G. And let's go and look at this next section, the adjust gain by. We see that we already jumped the gain up by six decibels. If I click on adjust gain by, and let's say we want to add two more to that, I could put in two. And you can notice that the six now jumped up to eight because it is adding what we already added. So hit OK. I'm going to jump to the beginning. They're like big couch potatoes. They are affectionate but not needy. You know, and I think it could still go up some more. So I would like to add another two. They're like big couch potatoes. They are affectionate but not needy. Okay, that sounds a lot better. So I'm going to solo my audio track for the music. There we go. So we only hear audio from the music. And let's adjust the gain by there. I'm going to hit the G key. Notice that the peak amplitude is negative 4.5. That is way louder than both of our interview clips. So let's go in here and let's drop the gain down. Uh, one starting point that I always seem to do is uh, do negative 12 at a starting point and hit OK. And let's unsolo this so we can hear how it sounds. It's a sport that's all about the gambling, and uh, the dogs tend to be a byproduct of the industry. They're like big couch potatoes. Pretty good, but it's still not quite enough. I'm going to come in here and adjust gain by. I could either set an absolute. So I did negative 12. I could do negative 16 maybe. Let's see what that sounds like. Play it again. It's a sport that's all about the gambling, and uh, the dogs tend to be a byproduct of the industry. They're like big couch potatoes. They are affectionate, but not needy. They are lazy, but they get bursts of energy. 